Okay, I got a craftsman over on the bench with a uh, primer bulb and uh, I had a pretty bad carb, so I just changed it, got a brand new carb in there. And the uh, funny thing about these new carbs is they use a, a steel washer for the seal on the bottom nut, which leaks fuel. So I just grabbed the old seal from the old one and it works just fine. So, there's a lot of videos about making this primer bulb work. Uh, there's one that guy uses a piece of tape here. Can you see this? And there's one, another one. Many of them, they double up on these uh, gaskets. And sometimes they work, sometimes they don't. So I've always been looking for a solution that works perfectly every time. The thing about the ones that you take off they're embedded. You can see the grooves right in the uh, right in the gasket after a period of time. But when you put new ones on there, they just don't groove out and they they don't pump up the uh, volume either. So what I'm going to do is remove this rib and put a piece of tape on there all the way up to the top. That gives it really good pressure. So let's give it a go. surface basically. Basically, I'm just cutting this tape up. It's double-sided tape. So I'm going to put a piece right there. This is probably too thick. Oh, maybe not. I'm going to try it. off a bit more so I can get a second piece on there pretty sticky second piece on and I'm leaving the top the top's gonna be free so it can breathe properly I'm gonna trim this off if I can okay. I'm gonna peel that layer off the top piece Get 
fingers on that. Bye, just a second. Okay. What's that? Okay. Um, I'm back now, so let's see where we're at. Oh, and if this tape is too thick, I got other tape, which is really thin. And I tried it before, it worked pretty good, but I wanted to try this tape. Okay, I need my glasses. So I'm only going to put on one gasket because that's all I want to use. I don't want to use two and I don't want to have it work sometimes. I want to have it work every single time flawlessly. Although honestly every year it gets less and less of these primer bulbs and they've all gone to automatic chokes. So wow that looks great. Okay so that's fitted on there nice. It's tight and I'm going to test it, but I want to just trim a piece, and that's my knife. There's just a touch right in here, which I just want to trim off. I'll just pull it off that. Okay, so I can push. screws in, see how it works. Sometimes you don't over tighten these too. If you over tighten them, they can warp the back in place. Flashlight. Oh man, it's like a rocket. Okay, so that worked perfect. I'm gonna show you this tube. Lower my camera. And I gotta close this. And I'm gonna zoom in. can see whoops I just shut off the video now I'm back okay so we get the flashlight set up I'm gonna pump right there you can see it coming up pretty good now that's the best primer I've ever seen so Okay, that's a perfect repair. I'm do that every time now for these uh, Craftsman primer bulbs. Basically, flatten the back of the plate, double-sided tape, and one gasket. I'll put this back together, and uh, I'm sure it'll be perfect. Run perfect, I mean. Okay, that's it for now. Okay, um... Just to show the, the tape I use, it's double-sided tape, and this is uh, Gorilla Tape, which you can get at any hardware store, Home Depot. Double-sided, okay. This is telephone repair tape, it's pretty thin. And it works too, what I do with this one when I try to use this one. It's a little too thin to use. I would have got a quarter inch if I was gonna do it again. Um, just put this right on the gasket itself. So then the gasket becomes a sticker, basically. And uh, you can do the same with, with the tape. Is With this tape, I mean, is cut it and put it right on top of the gasket instead of the backing plate. So that's another option. All right.